I would like to welcome everybody to our hymn meditation today. We will be featuring three hymns with history related to Reformation. The word Reformation is from the Latin reformer to renew. According to Merriam Webster, it is the process of improving something or someone by removing or correcting faults, problems, etc. In history, Reformation, also called Protestant Reformation, was a major movement, a religious and political challenge to papal authority that took place in the Western Church in 16th century. It was the start of Protestantism. A mighty fortress is our God, or Ein's first book, It's Unser God, is one of the best known hymns by the reformer Martin Luther, a prolific hymnist. Luther wrote the words and composed the melody sometime in 1527 and 1529. The words are a paraphrase of Psalm 46. It has been called the battle hymn of the Reformation for the effect it had in increasing the support of the former's cause. Luther was a Roman Catholic monk. His study led him to believe that the Church of Rome was corrupt. On October 31, 1517, he posted his famous thesis in the front door of the church in Wittenberg, inviting debate. Luther broke with Rome in 1521, refusing to retract his writings before the Diet of Worms, which is a formal deliberative assembly of the Holy Roman Empire. Subsequently, he was recognized as the leader of the German Reformation. The hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, embodies with strength and gusto the very spirit of the Reformation, breaking free from the placidity and poverty of medieval with which God confidence. to the Lord the Almighty was written as a loose summary of Psalm 103 and 150 by Joachim Neander in 1680. Joachim Neander grew up under heavy secular influence, yet he became a believer and a Calvinist schoolmaster in his early 20s. Despite the fact that he lived much of his Christian life under significant adversity, he wrote 60 glorious hymns, mostly praise hymns, and became the first significant hymn writer in the German Reformed Church. He died of tuberculosis at the young age of 30. Let me play a piano solo arrangement of the hymn by Roger.
Maxim was written in 1866 by Reverend Samuel Stone as a direct response to the schism within the Church of South Africa caused by John William Colenso, first bishop of Natal. This Anglican bishop had published an essay questioning the inerrancy of Scripture. He believed that much of the Old Testament was mythology and that Jesus had thought wrong things about Moses. The church's one foundation was based on the ninth article, one of the 12 hymns written by Reverend Stone based on the 12 articles of the Apostles' Creed. Here's a piano solo arrangement of the hymn by Mark Hayes.